Scott, I often ask you your emotions at the end of a game. I would imagine that they're pretty positive this evening. Yeah, they're, um, they're better than they were at half-time. So I thought half-time, um, the lads needed a, to be told uh, you know, a few home truths, really. They, they weren't great. Uh, it was a bit sloppy. Uh, just, uh, you know, it was as if we were just rolling the ball around and you know, moving it slowly. And all, all of us were, weren't happy with it, weren't happy with the performance. So I think second half, they've done themselves you know, a big favour and um, it's a big win. But more importantly, the way we played second half was was pleasing rather than the first half, which was you know it was a bit a bit off really for, for our standards. And we were three 0 up at half time, so the fact that you had a go, as it were, at the players shows the very high standards that you have set for the team. Yeah, it's not about it's not about the scoreline; it's about how you play, and then the scoreline will come. Whatever you do, if you work hard and you stick to your strengths and principles, you'll always get a good result. Because you know nine times out of ten, we we will we will come through with goals and, and whatever but if you don't play well if you don't start the game well if you don't do what we ask of them then, then you'll struggle against anybody and Greg Draper was in from the start and he rewarded your faith in him by not only scoring five of the goals but also setting a new league goal scoring record for the New Saints yeah credit to Greg um, said well done to him in the change room he's been a fantastic servant look at the goals he scored whether he starts whether he's on the bench He's been brilliant and a great character as well to have in the dressing room. You know, he's, um, he's been fantastic between us. And although the spotlight will be on Greg, of course, with those goals, nevertheless, others chipped in with some equally impressive strikes. Yeah, John got a couple, didn't he? Um, Louis, uh, Kwame and Ryan Arrington through the middle there, just ran through. But we talked about half-time about, you know, taking the spaces and, and, and taking them on, not just passing the ball, passing the buck. You know, go and, go and get past the players, go and take the space and, and get shots away and, and that's all you want. You want players to um, to dominate and to go and show how good they are if, if the space is there to be to be running into, to be to be got into. So um, yeah, please for Ryan as well, get on the score sheet. An excellent three points for the New Saints today, but if we don't do the same against Newtown on yeah. Tuesday, then in many ways it is in vain. Yeah, it's it's a clean sheet. It's it's ten more goals. Um, obviously the the goals um, difference is important every season, like we say. So we continue, you know, that's what was that, nine, four, four and one, isn't it? So four, four wins and that draw that we'll, we'll find out on Monday. But hopefully we'll be able to play Valor again um, and get that game replayed. I don't know what they're going to make the decision on it. But like you say, Tuesday, another game at home. Um, and in the same vein as we finished both halves of football recently. And finally, Scott, you've already mentioned the last question, another clean sheet. That was an area of concern for you from last season. You seem to have put that one to bed this time round. Yeah, no, it's, it is. It's, we are still trying to work on defensively, being sound and not getting as many teams playing behind us and through the back of us. So, yeah, clean sheets are vital. The best teams win the leagues by having a number of clean sheets.